What's up everyone, it's Tube, and welcome back to another Pokemon concept coverage video. A lot of you insisted that I split up concept coverage videos to release them more frequently, and so today we're going to look at a pretty interesting dragon type Pokemon, Altaria, and how it could turn out if it mega evolved. Altaria is a unique dragon type Pokemon, and a lot of people don't see it because a lot of people don't give it a chance. Even though it shares the common dragon flying typing with many others like Salamence, it's one of the very few dragon Pokemon that are more on defense. It has an amazing move pool. Offensively, it has access to a ton of different moves, from setup moves like Hone Claws and Dragon Dance, to attacking moves that range from Fire to Grass, Ground Steel, Fairy, you name it. And defensively, it can learn a ton of support moves like Heal Bell, Roost, and Substitute. That's what makes Altaria so unique. It's a dragon type that you can shape and use in many different ways And if its stats weren't so low in comparison to other alternatives you could use it would be a much more used Pokemon Mega Altaria on the other hand should be the perfected version of Altaria It should get a major defensive boost as well as a smaller offensive boost I don't really see Mega Altaria getting a speed buff and besides they've got to give it a weak spot somewhere but Mega Altaria would get the stats that Altaria needed to become relevant again. With its increased defenses, it'll be much harder to take down, and it can even set up while taking a bunch of hits. All it needs to do is set up one Dragon Dance, and it instantly becomes a threat. How do you deal with the fast, powerful, and bulky Pokemon on a Rampage? And if you do wear it down, ha! Roost! But moving on, since Altaria has such a peaceful look like many other fairy types, and it can literally learn some of the strongest fairy attacks like Moonblast and Dazzling Gleam, it makes way too much sense for Mega Altaria to drop its flying attribute and become a dragon fairy type. I mean sure, Altaria's flying typing made it immune to ground attacks, but it also doubled its weakness to ice attacks. In some situations, an ice shard from a Weavile can knock out an Altaria at full HP. It's that bad. But if Mega Altaria became a dragon fairy type, not only does it have four weak weaknesses that it has the moves to deal with, but it also resists a ton of commonly used types, grass, electric, water, fire, dark fighting, and obviously dragon. But anyways, the most popular abilities for a Mega Altaria are Multiscale, Serene Grace, and Pixelate. Multiscale would give Altaria a huge advantage at the start, almost ensuring it'll always survive the first hit. And with access to Roost, it can restore its Multiscale when it gets the chance. You can even make it the ultimate Toxic Staller. Serene Grace is a very annoying ability, mostly suggested based off its majestic look. Serene Grace doubles the chances of a secondary effect happening, so if Mega Altaria were to use Moonblast, there'd be a 60% chance of lowering the opponent's special attack. But if Altaria did get an uncommon ability like this, it would give users a reason to use Altaria as the Mega on their team instead of Garchomp or Charizard X. And Pixelite would be a great offensive ability for Mega Altaria if it were to become part fairy. While Altaria does learn some of the strongest fairy attacks, it only learns two, and it would be great to have a larger variety. Imagine using a move like Body Slam. It would not only get a 30% boost and turn into a fairy attack to give you stab, but it also keeps its secondary effect of having a 30% chance to paralyze the opponent. This thing will be a huge threat to anything, except Tyranitar of course. Here's a concept art for what a Mega Altaria could look like. Its ribbons grow out in loop, clouds take on a shape to act more like wings, and that's really it. It's a basic transformation, but considering others like Gardevoir don't change as much as well, it's possible. Though I personally do feel like a Mega Altaria would look a lot different than its original form. This next design is much different than the last one, and I kinda like the concept. Its clouds extend outward like two wings, and its body stretches out. Its clouds also turn very dark to resemble a thundercloud, and it was done so with the idea that Mega Altaria should drop its flying typing and become a dragon electric type. It seems fitting that a cloud-related Pokemon should become part electric, but Altaria itself doesn't fit the role, especially with it not even learning any electric attacks, but it is an interesting concept. And this last design is my personal favorite, and it resembles the design a lot of Pokemon fans hope Mega Altaria to look like. Its body and face morph into a more serpent look, and its clouds form into wings. Its feet grow claws, and its tail thickens and multiplies, and it almost looks like it could be a tailed beast. This overall design looks very much like a dragon fairy type, and I hope the real Mega Altaria looks a lot like this design. But anyways, that's it for this concept coverage video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know your thoughts on Mega Altaria as well as other Hoenn Megas you hope to see in these new games. There's gonna be more concept coverage videos based off your suggestions, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want to see the last concept coverage video, go ahead and check out the video on the left.